Hi, my name is Mohamed Saif Farouk. I'm a second year medical student at Sunderland University. This video is a quick summary on how I found medicine as a second degree and also as a graduate. So I don't get the tuition fee loan, I just get the maintenance loan. In this video, I'll basically describe how I go about funding this degree and why I didn't do a four year graduate entry course. So firstly, I think this is a common misconception that because you're not entitled to the tuition fee loan, you're also not entitled to the maintenance fee loan. That's not true. I get the maintenance loan and I sort of transfer a lot of that into, my, into paying my tuition fees. That way, my main sort of costs are my accommodation fees and my living costs. When it came to paying uh, accommodation fees, I've worked different part-time jobs. So last year, I worked for the students' union. I've worked as a residential officer for the accommodation. And I'm also aiming to do further jobs next year as well. Currently as well, I'm doing research on the summer and these are paid as well, which again means that I've got money set aside to pay for my accommodation. Um, the first and second year were quite easy to fund only because if for first year our accommodation was for free and then second year was half price, meaning that most of our costs were just the tuition alone. Third and fourth year will be a little bit more difficult because we've got the tuition fees and the accommodation fees. Me and my flatmates from the first and second year are living in a house next year and we've obviously got to pay the full price for that, which isn't actually that bad because it's bills included and because it's in Sunderland it's quite cheap relative to other parts of the country. Also as well, it's important to recognise that um, universities have sort of funds and bursaries. These can be me means tested. So if you've got a low household income, you've also got money coming from the university. And also our university gives travel bursaries. So if you've got to travel to and from placement, you've got some money to help you do that as well. So we got that in our first and second year. And to be quite honest, we rarely needed to travel. In fact, we pretty much write uni every single day. So we got given travel money that we didn't really need. So I sort of put that to the side to pay for expenses in further years throughout the degree. I believe fifth year is actually funded by the NHS in terms of tuition fees, which is obviously great. I can use my maintenance loan there to pay for my actual maintenance like any other student would do. I think I'm at the point now, to be fair, with the jobs that I've been doing and that I am doing. I've got my accommodation money pretty much sorted for next year. Now it's just sort of getting money set aside for my fourth year. And from that point, I should be fine. One thing that's important to know as well, universities have hardship funds. And if you're sort of struggling financially to a point where you can't eat, or things are getting quite bad, you can contact university because they have like some spare set of money where they sort of can allocate for things like that. One thing that you can look at and something I've not really looked at but I wish I did and something I will actually try to do this year is look at sort of um, funding bodies that can also help sort of provide money to help you fund your degree as well. Like I've known someone in my year that's managed to get an iPad through this so I feel like things like that can be very helpful not just in terms of helping you financially in terms of living costs, but also helping you get resources for medical school. That way you can make notes and actually do well in your sort of studies as well. I know this video is quite brief, but I hope it's quite useful as a summary on funding medical school as a second degree. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll answer them there. Thank you.